Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for lemon buttermilk pound cake. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need some room temperature buttermilk, baking soda, room temperature eggs, lemon extract, flour, sugar, and room temperature softened unsalted butter. For the glaze, you're going to need butter, powdered sugar, and lemon juice. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off by creaming our butter and sugar together with the large mixer for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now and you can see that that batter is white and fluffy. I did scrape it down occasionally as the mixer was going. Now what I'm doing is adding in my eggs one at a time. Now I'm gonna alternate adding my flour, which I have sifted with my baking soda and my buttermilk. I'm gonna add each of them a third at a time. And finally, I'm going to stir in my lemon extract. Okay, so next you're gonna take a tube pan or a bunt pan, whatever you'd prefer, and you're gonna spray it with baking spray. This is the one that I'm using, it's from Aldi. Any brand will do. Make sure it's a baking spray. A baking spray has oil and flour in it. And you're just gonna pour your batter evenly into your pan. Okay, so I've got my batter in the pan. My oven is preheated to 325 degrees. I typically have to bake my pound cakes for about an hour and a half. Everyone's oven is different. You may need more time, you may need less time, but I'm gonna bake this for about an hour and a half. Okay, so I just took my cake out of the oven and I'm gonna let it cool in the pan for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna flip it over on a cooling rack and let it cool completely and then we'll make that glaze. Okay, so my cake has cooled completely and now it's time to make that glaze. I have two tablespoons of unsalted melted butter in the bowl and I just added in one cup of powdered sugar and I have some lemon juice here and you're just gonna add a little bit at a time until you get the consistency that you want. Okay, so I've got the icing, the consistency that we like but you're just gonna pour it right on top of your cake. Okay, so here is the cake. I did decide to add a little bit more icing to it. Um, I just wanted a bit more and that icing will harden up nicely. And I cut a slice out so you guys could see what the cake looks like on the inside. And here it is on the plate. It's nice and tender, a delicate lemon flavor. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.